A lot of dudes be like that sometimes. They don't want to throw money until they see other dudes in the club throw money. Like, they don't do it for the girls. They do it for the niggas, honestly. They want to, like, show out and, like, get attention from other niggas. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Honey K and make sure you subscribe because we live over here, period. All right y'all, so today is day three of the chemical peel. And as y'all can see, I haven't did nothing to my face yet on purpose, just so y'all can see like, I woke up and my face was like this. Like I'm starting to peel around my mouth and under my nose and on the side of my nose. And my hyperpigmentation is super dark today. So I'm hoping that that means it's all just gonna peel off, okay, period. So day three, it say I'm supposed to. Peeling generally be, generally begins on day three. So I think I could hear myself on the FaceTime. So basically, I'm just supposed to wash my face like regular and apply the moisturizer to treated areas two to three times a day to control the peeling and relieve tightness. I'm about to wash my face and stuff and show y'all how it looks after I wash my face and put moisturizer on. But the peeling is mainly here, like I said. Y'all, I'm about to literally cut this off i can't peel it but i can cut it so that looks crazy some of y'all probably don't want to see this and y'all probably disgusted right sorry it's actually really satisfying to me though i'm gonna stop showing y'all because y'all probably don't want to see but i'll keep y'all updated new skin on the hoe And I'm right back on with them. They got some bulls on the payroll. You niggas stick to me, girl. She with a P in the lid, the condo. We bout to eat my Giano. Up in the P house, I'm beaming on knuckles. Thinking I should take the Bronco. OJ, gotta go get it tomorrow. I'm selling out the Apollo. Inside my body is hollow. Pound up the rent, get your force out the ghetto. You know that was my way to model. Said nigga won't talk out inside of his neck. I just let it be. I'm coming I switched some things around. I still have this the same, but at the top I used to have shoe boxes up here. Now I put like my bags up here. And I still have the little hats right there until I figure out something else. Honestly, I might move the hats up there or somewhere else but for now they're gonna stay right here and then here i used to have my suitcase and my wig head and stuff but i moved that to the other side which i'll show y'all as of right now i just have some dancer shoe boxes right there and then here my jewelry boxes which i plan on getting a new jewelry box i could put all my jewelry in one box and then i got these shoe containers my boyfriend actually got these for me to put my shoes in so yeah that turned out perfectly and then over here i just have some beanies and hats inside of a little pink bin because i have nowhere else to put it and then i just have like some of the designer bags that i want to keep and then i still have this little shoe organizer so i do have my shoes in here as well then i have my mirror right here which i'm actually going to clean the mirror off and my suitcase i moved it over to this side with the wig head and then these are just some wigs that I have to promo. And then my laundry basket. I'm in the middle of doing laundry right now. But I have just a little bit left to do. Up here, I just have some shoes. I just organized some black bags that I have right there. And yeah, that's my updated closet situation. Because it was a mess, babe. It was a mess. Yeah, so this is the updated version. I feel like it's a little bit more organized. Here, I have some shoes that I want to give away. I don't want them anymore. And then, like, a couple of clothes that I would never put away because I don't even want them. Honestly, I still need to go through my clothes, though, because there's a lot of clothes that I don't want anymore. December, you need to declutter and reorganize. That's what December's giving before the new year gets here. I'm trying to get rid of stuff I don't want and make space for new things. Okay, y'all, so my face is peeling like crazy right now. 
Yeah. And they just called me and said my car is ready and it's 5.43. I'm about to Uber to go get my car. I just announced the giveaway winner on Instagram. Shout out to her. I hope she loved the wig. I'm going to be shipping the wig off to her tomorrow. Make sure y'all watching the videos all the way through. Every single video. I'm doing random giveaways at random times. I don't know how many giveaways I'm doing. That's why you just got to stay tuned. And that's why you just got to have your post notifications on. And make sure you subscribed so you don't miss out. And tomorrow I want to go get Christmas. Christmas ornaments and stuff because I want to put my Christmas tree up it's literally the sixth and my Christmas tree is just sitting here doesn't make sense I'm gonna be doing all that tomorrow but it's just like I really don't want to be outside because my damn face like look at my face look at my face I look like I don't know I don't even want to go get my car but I want my car so bad and I don't have a face mask or nothing. So I'm just have to, finna have to go like this. At least the sun is not out though. Let's go get my car. I'll probably just bring y'all with me to go get my car. Why not? And I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I don't want to go get it. Because why is your face like that? What's on your face? The people just finna be staring at me. I know it. Y'all look at my face. I'll talk to this man. He looking at me like, Hi, I want to, I need to pick my car up. Hi, I need to pick my car up. It's right there. All right, just go, to the, go around the service window. That'll be all right, th where is that? Uh, all the way around. Yo. <laughs> Hi. Hi. It's an Audi. I'm already irritated. Like, I already don't want to be here because my face is peeling and they act like they don't know nothing about my car. Do you have a total of due of 348 How would you be making With card. Uh, credit or debit? Got my baby back. I got my baby back. She's so dirty. They could have at least washed her. They had her for four days. They could have at least washed her. Usually they give me a car wash, I guess, since they didn't give me a loaner car. They felt like they didn't have to give me a car wash either. When I get services that are covered, y'all treat me better than when I pay out of pocket. That's crazy. But yeah, besides that, y'all, I'm about to just get me some food real quick. And then I'm going to go home and edit this video. And I'm probably just going to do that for the rest of the night. We'll see. I'll check back in with y'all once I get to the house. That's crazy. That is already 9 o'clock. Okay, so I'm about to edit a little bit. Look at my face, y'all. Let's update on my face right now. Currently, all of this is peeled. My forehead hasn't started peeling at all. But right here, y'all can't really see it on camera. But right here, it's starting to peel like on the bridge of my nose. The forehead is supposed to peel last. That's the update on my skin. Hopefully, day five. All of this is off. Good morning, guys. So today's Thursday, and I went to the grocery store and got some stuff really quick so I could make, like, brunch. I got fruit, orange juice. My boyfriend's going to bring champagne for mimosas. And I'm about to make brunch. We're going to make bacon. Yes, I got pork bacon because I like pork bacon, so... And then I got the sausage because I'm gonna make damn I'm gonna make biscuits and gravy and I'll be putting the sausage in my gravy. And now I got the biscuits for the biscuits and gravy. And then I got potatoes, because my boyfriend likes breakfast potatoes. I do too, but he really likes them. And then I got me some Shabani yogurts too, because I just love these. Got me some avocado so I can make avocado toast tomorrow, because that's what I've been wanting. And then I got some cinnamon rolls. Just because I wanted something, I got some eggs. I'm about to cook brunch with me, but I do want to show y'all my process. It's day four of peeling, so as y'all can see, my skin is peeling. So I feel like my pigmentation is a lot lighter than what it was before, but I knew with the first round it wasn't going to be completely gone, but I was hoping that some of them would be completely gone, and some of them are. And my forehead is starting to peel a little bit, but y'all can't really see it. And my nose is peeling a lot too. I don't think I ever vlogged this much with my real hair out. Just out. Somebody told me they thought I was bald headed because I always wear wigs. I just don't like wearing my hair because natural hair maintenance is crazy. Like, it's annoying. I'm about to fill my egg container up. But wearing my natural hair every day would be like way too much of a hassle. I don't even like doing my own hair. I'm not good with doing baby hairs on my natural hair. I'm not good at natural hair, so that's why I don't wear my hair. Me wearing my hair for these couple days, I'm like used to my forehead now a little bit. Let me get these potatoes out. I need to start the potatoes. I'm gonna start the bacon, start the biscuits. Really what I could do to make this faster 
I can make the bacon in the oven and the biscuits in the oven. That way I'm just making the potatoes and the eggs on the stove and the gravy. So I'm about to put my biscuits in this pan and put them in the oven. If y'all don't make all y'all biscuits, do y'all throw them away or do y'all put them in a Ziploc bag? Biscuits and gravy is a really easy recipe, y'all. If y'all have never made it, I'm gonna show y'all. It's so easy. I usually don't bake my bacon, but I'm gonna bake it today just because I'm trying to make this fast. I'll just cut this one in half. Give it the illusion that I'm cooking more bacon than I'm actually cooking. I need to start eating turkey bacon again. Biscuits in the oven. I'm probably gonna cut my potatoes up real quick before I start my sausage. This is a cook with me rushed edition, okay? I really don't even have to rush for real, but I just wanna get it done. Cause I got a lot of stuff to do today, to be honest. There's a lot of different ways to cook breakfast potatoes, but my boyfriend's like, he like his like this. So this is how I be making it when he, when he come over. This is not the knife I need for this. Just put some olive oil in the pan and then I'm gonna put my potatoes in there with some peppers and seasonings and stuff. Let's go ahead and put our sausage on. I'm not gonna make the whole thing. I'm only gonna make some of it because it's going in our gravy. You don't want too much meat in the gravy. I'm using the Jimmy Dean sausage. Bro, I'm that person that when I'm in the kitchen and I cook, I keep on getting paper towels. Y'all ever seen that meme where they be like, me in the kitchen, put your fingers under the sink, get a paper towel. Put your Every time you touch something, you wash your hands, get a paper towel, wash your hands. That's me in the kitchen, bro, 100%. I'm about to crush my meat up so it's not in chuck. Put my potatoes on. Now I'm about to put the sausage on. I'm gonna season them. I'm gonna start doing more cooking videos, y'all, like better ones than this one. This one is just like a rush video, but I really wanna start doing more cooking videos. Last week, I was making dinner almost every night. And when I tell you I was throwing down, I was like, nah, I should have recorded this. Like, they would have loved this recipe. It'd be easy to make too, like. And I'll be making stuff from scratch, y'all. I'm a scratch type of girl. Cover my potatoes up so they could cook. I'm about to start my eggs. Black pepper. Creole seasoning, that's that Stevie's spot in the eggs, y'all, so fine. Gotta get my flour out. I need a thing for my flour. I don't even have a thing to put my flour in. You need your flour for your gravy, oat milk. All right, I'm about to put a little bit of the flour. Y'all, I don't be measuring stuff. I think you're supposed to put like one third of a cup, but I just be adding it gradually, stirring it up. Get my eggs, cut up pieces of cheese in here. Sometimes I do it like this, or sometimes I just um, add grated cheese. That was kind of a lot. I did not mean to have that much. My biscuits are done. And my bacon is done too. I'm going to just add a little bit more flour. And then I'm going to add my oat milk. I'm going to start stirring that in. And the good thing about making biscuits and gravy, if the gravy is not the consistency you want it to be you can add more milk or add more flour oh y'all i forgot to tell you you have to add butter i didn't even show y'all you have to add butter to your gravy and i buttered my um biscuits after i got them out the oven it's like i'm kind of just talking y'all through this instead of showing y'all sorry yeah i'm gonna just come back and show y'all the finished product because it's not even like y'all cooking with me at this point i'm just talking so i'll show y'all when the food is done okay y'all i'm about to make the plate i just finished everything show y'all the final product and i gotta show y'all something too that i have got it's actually from a company it's actually for me and you know they said so i gotta open a package because i forgot to open it. what that's cool i got a gift shout out to them i'm gonna show it to y'all in a second <laughs> <laughs> but I got your cup down for you. Y'all look at his cup. Oh, I'm not taking a shot. I'm drinking mimosas. Look at his cup. One of his fans made him this. I don't even think I showed y'all. Cause it ain't mine, but whatever. I'ma put a little eggs on your plate for decoration. <laughs> Cause plates be looking so empty without eggs. Like people that don't eat eggs. People that don't eat eggs, it's like, your breakfast plate look real boring. This leaves up in the house. Literally a house. Not too much going on. It's hit. Let's do it right now. We are. 
Outer Sun is in jail, you'll go help your dad or like. Cheers. How much do it cost? Like 13, 14,000. 13 or 14,000. It says blanket sweatshirt. Premium hoodie. This is what we got, y'all. A sweater and a blanket? It's wrapped up like dope. <laughs> Why you won't buy this other deal? Y'all, open it. Y'all. You took a big shit. Look at it, it have a pocket and everything. I'm taking this with me right now. Y'all, look. It has the the fur on the inside. This shit dope. And it's Christmas. We gotta get some Ugg boots or something. Hey y'all, so I am about to ship off some packages. If you ain't shot my merch yet, I'm basically sold out for real. I got a couple more left. And I'm about to ship out the wig for the giveaway. Yeah, why you ain't taking pictures of my merch yet? That's weird. I actually haven't worn yet, besides the one day when I wore it when we were there. I'd be like, everybody that bought merch from me, nobody's taking pictures or posting in it. I'm so confused. Are you vlogging with your face filling? Yes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I show the real of the realest. I'm I'm a real human. I don't fake it. Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay, so this one, I want to do ground shipping. No, it's the giveaway and merch. I gave away a wig. No, it depends on the way. Uh, yeah, so it weighs. Can I do priority? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It cost you $29. You want to do it? Saturday? Guaranteed yeah, Saturday, 29 You ready? Why is everybody calling my phone? I can just keep it in here, right? Yeah. OK. Hello? All right, I'm, a, I'm not at home right now. I'm about to go home when I leave here. Sorry, blood warning. Would y'all believe me if I told y'all a water bottle just did this to my toe? This is blood, y'all. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. I just wanted to show y'all because that's really crazy. How the fuck did a water bottle do this to my Drop on my foot and make me start bleeding like this. Let's put ice on it because that shit hurt. Did I show y'all my anklet though, by the way? I got a Sagittarius anklet. So it's Friday night now and I am ready to go to work. I put very light makeup on because today is literally my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Technically day five of my chemical peel. My skin basically peeled. Only thing I have left is a little bit on my forehead. I really try not to put makeup on it. And then like under my chin and on my neck a little bit. I'm peeling right there and then a little bit on my side, like by my sideburn on this side. But the rest of my face is completely already peeled. I feel like the peel did work, but I need to get another one. I'm not going to do that for a while. So I'm just going to continue with my facials until then and then go back and get another one. So yeah, and I did my own wig today. I just threw a closure on y'all and got to be sprayed it down. That's it. No baby hair is nothing. I just did that because I was not about to go to work with my bun. And my hair appointment is not until Wednesday. I'm not about to miss work for the whole weekend just because my hair not done. So I was like, I'm going to have to just do it myself. Came home, braided my hair down the best I could because I really can't braid for real. And threw me a little wig on. Got to be sprayed it down. Did some crimps. 
I feel like it look good. So it's good enough to go make me some money. That's what I know. Go make us some money and not just be sitting in the house. So that's what we finna do. I feel like this vlog is so boring. I was gonna end this vlog, but I'm like, I'm gonna just bring y'all with me for the weekend. Probably today and tomorrow is December. I'm not doing Vlogmas, so I'm gonna try to do at least two vlogs a week. And this weekend, I am determined to put my tree up. I have to put my tree up. It's been sitting here for days. <laughs> I just did so much stuff today. Y'all wouldn't even imagine everything I did today. Like, ooh, ciao. Let's go ahead and head out the door and I'll see y'all once I get to the club or once I get back home. <laughs> Y'all, tonight didn't make no sense at all. And it was really competition of the roaches tonight. That's what it was. It is the beginning of the month, y'all. I'm going to say that. It's the beginning of the month. But this was crazy how tonight was. Like, it was barely any money in the club for real. I'm going to tell y'all how my night started, okay? I already counted my money. I even left early. Like, I did not care enough tonight. Because what? So when I first got to work... Got dressed, got on the floor. I had like walked around the club just to see who was in there. And then I ended up walking back to like by the dressing room. And I saw it was a dude sitting on the couch by himself. And I was like, why are you sitting right here by yourself? Like, start talking to him, whatever, whatever, introduce myself. He like, oh yeah, I'm about to throw a bag in here. I'm just waiting for it to get more lit. I'm like, oh, okay, bet. Like, so I'm like, let me keep talking to him. And then I'm like, oh, let's get us a drink. So he like, okay. He was like, dance for me real quick. I'm like, okay. So I started dancing. He's throwing barely any money. He like, I gotta, I still gotta get ones. I was just trying to get a dance real quick before I get ones, cause I'm waiting for it to get a little more packed in here to get ones. Which a lot of dudes be like that sometimes. They don't want to throw money until they see other dudes in the club throw money. Like, they don't do it for the girls. They do it for the niggas. Honestly, they want to like show out and like get attention from other niggas. That's just how niggas are. Weird to me. Makes no sense to me, but makes perfect sense to them. And they hit it. Whatever. It's an ego thing, I guess. We go to the bar to get a drink. I drink my drink. He drink his drink. He drink his drink real fast. And he like, he don't drink like that. So he was like, oh, my stomach hurt. I'm like, oh, damn. Like, drink some water. He like, all right. So I'm like, you want to get some more, some ones or what? He like, yeah, I got some. I was like, okay. And then he like, throwing them. And I, it's like $20 on the floor, y'all. At this point, I done been with you for about 20 minutes. I done made about $20. It's time for me to go to the next person because I'm sitting right here too long. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna come back. I see the section next to me. They had already threw money at these girls, but I seen that they was getting more money. It was me and another girl was right there and I we started dancing for them. But that's really where I made my money at tonight. Like all my money, basically. We were dancing for them. They was throwing their money. They was throwing it fast, too. They wasn't even being stingy or nothing. They didn't have that much, though, because they had already had a section before we had came over there. And they had just got extra ones when we came over there. So I want to say they probably threw, like, 600 But you got to remember, they take $15 out of every step. So then after I was done dancing for them, I'm, like, looking around, trying to see where I should go. I tried to get into a section. It was so many girls trying to get into one section because it was the only section in the club. So I ended up just walking away because they couldn't even see me. I'm so little. I'm like, whatever. I'm going to just try to go make money somewhere else. They end up calling me on stage. While I'm on stage, I see this couple at the bar getting once. I'm trying to dance for them and try to get them to come to the stage and throw their money. This girl see them. She run over there and start dancing for them. They spending money on her. I'm like, damn, okay. I do the whole stage set. Don't make no money. Then I go to the next stage set, make a couple dollars. Go to the next stage set, make a couple dollars. And somebody bought me a shot. That was it. It was so bad. Every time it was like somebody going to spend some money or every time I see somebody with some money, it was somebody running to them. They didn't care if you was already dancing for them. They was tapping people and they started trying to get them to throw money on them. Tonight, it was like nobody cared about nothing. It was girls dancing on the side where there's already money right next to you. Then trying to dance for the same person that's already throwing money at somebody else. It kept on happening tonight. If you see a customer already tipping me and throwing money at me, why are you coming over there trying to tap them and trying to have them look at you and get them to throw money at you when I'm already dancing for them? That's annoying. And then, like, as soon as a customer's finna throw some money, you go right there and just try to start dancing. It's the same two girls all night doing it. I'm like, you know what? At this point, y'all want to play like that? I could play like that. I was, like, low-key irritated, but it was dry anyway. So I was like, I'm just finna split this little bag I got with this girl. I'm finna go home. We're gonna try again tomorrow. I really left only, like, 
15 minutes, 20 minutes early. Then I thought I lost my dancer bag. It was just a lot going on. I couldn't find my dancer bag for like five minutes, y'all. And the whole time, it was underneath the chair. And it was a dude trying to come up to me all night with $5 in his hand all night, y'all. $5. Kept grabbing me like, hey. Kept, kept looking at me, kept staring at me. He was literally walking around the club taking pictures of other people's money on the floor, posting it on his Instagram, on his Snapchat. Bro literally sat in somebody else's section that he did not know or, or talk to or nothing. Sat there and was taking pictures of the money with his shoe in the pictures. And the dudes was even looking at him like, who is this? Like, what is he doing? What is he on? Like, it was just giving broke customers and roach strippers. I don't have time for that. So I had to go. I'm like, Saturdays are always better than Fridays. We're going to try again tomorrow. Tomorrow I need to leave with a band or more, period. I'm not taking nothing less. I'm not coming home with nothing less. It is what it is. I need a band or more. Tonight, y'all, we made 100, 200, 350, and then we got $14 extra dollars. So that's 64. So we made 364 tonight. I am pissed, <laughs> to be honest. That's how tonight went, y'all. I'm about to take my makeup off and stuff, and I'm about to call it a night. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I know I need to go to the bank and go to Target. I want to get my Christmas decorations, but I'm not satisfied with what I made tonight, so I don't want to spend my money on it. I want to spend money that... I just made the night before. Like, I be feeling like it's giving girl math. If I make a bag tomorrow, I'm not going to care as much to spend money on ornaments and stuff as I would care if I went tomorrow and I only made $300. I'll check back in with y'all in the morning when we get up. what's up guys it's the next morning and i'm actually tired like i feel like i didn't get to sleep all the way but i have to get up and start my day so got up made myself some breakfast got myself together a little bit i am back waist training y'all i need my body to be right 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 by the time january come last night my homegirl was like your booty look bigger i was like yeah i've been getting back in the gym i've been back waist training it makes a difference when you really do it and you like do it consistently that'd be my problem i be doing it until i see change and then i stop and then it goes away so i gotta keep doing it so january coming up i need to be right right we are about to go to the bank really quick my bank closed at three on saturdays so i still have time to go and then i'm gonna try to do a little bit of shopping for my christmas tree but i really don't want to spend too much so we're gonna be on a budget like i'm not trying to do too much but i still want to feel like it's christmas in my house and i don't have nothing that makes me feel like it's christmas coming up so christmas decorating on a budget let's see what we could get for a good price that's what we're about to do and i'm bringing out with me so let's go and I don't wanna go unless you met me Let me beat that pussy up one more time I know that you feel for that And she been noticing he ain't me They say time is Y'all, I just realized I didn't even show y'all my skin, like my process after my peel. I know that a couple days after the peel, your skin continues to lighten, like while it's healing. It's still healing and stuff. But I gotta show y'all for real, for real, because my dark marks are definitely lighter. I'm happy with the first round. I definitely want to do it again, like I said before. Anyways, I was just sitting in the car thinking, y'all, sometimes I feel like in life, we never feel, I don't want to say content with things but like lately i just been feeling like there's so many things i want to do so many things i want to get done so many ideas that i have but it's always so much to do for one person i'm overwhelmed in a way but i also feel like i'm not doing enough i do a lot but i need to do more i feel like i'm just wasting a lot of time I don't have time to waste. I'm 26 now. I need things to start moving. 
I'm 26. I want so much more. But also, it's like a battle with myself of like, you're doing good. It's okay. But even when I do be like, okay, you're doing good. But it's like, you're still not where you want to be. So you have to keep going. And even when I get to where I want to be, am I even going to be satisfied with that? One person can only do so much. But I do feel like I need to get harder on myself. I don't even feel close. Like... I, I used to feel very close. I used to feel like, oh, I'm doing good, okay? Like, you're almost to where you want to be. But right now, I don't even feel like that. I don't feel like my goal is even in reach right now. And that's really bad. I don't like feeling like that. I'm like, nah, this ain't working. Like, you need to do something else. You need to figure it out. These are thoughts I'm having right now. I don't want to be negative. I hate being negative. I know I'm doing good, but I need to do better. That's how I feel. That's a great explanation for how I feel right now. I'm just going to keep praying on it. One of my main goals for 2024 is to just stop talking so much. Just doing things. Don't even talk about it. Just do it. I don't want to talk about anything anymore. I just want to put the thought, the idea in my head, keep it in my head, and do what I need to do to, to execute that thought or that idea or that plan. Just a quick little rant basically yeah oh my gosh and my eyelashes are screaming for help y'all i'm so freaking sad like oh my lash appointment is not till tuesday and me without lashes or me with my gapped up lashes makes me very depressed very sad i do not feel like me but it's okay because my lash appointment is tuesday and my hair appointment is wednesday and baby when i have a lash appointment and a hair appointment in the same week let me tell you, who are you? Who am I? I'm a new bitch. <laughs> Literally. So I'm excited for that. I'm back at home and I did not record me in the stores. The plan was to record me in the stores, but I literally went to the bank and then I went to Ross. Ross killed it and the bank did too. I know it's like Christmas time and stuff and everybody's out trying to shop with their families and it's Saturday. I should have knew this was a bad day to go. But yeah, I made the mistake of going and I got pissed off. So I feel like I didn't have no patience, maybe because I'm still sleepy and I didn't get much sleep or it just literally didn't make any sense why it took me three hours. Literally, I went to the bank. The line was long as hell because they were having issues, I guess. I don't know. Then I get to Ross. There's no parking. I'm waiting for a parking spot, literally waiting for somebody to come out. I find a parking spot and somebody takes it. Like, I was so mad. Like, literally swooped in. I even rolled my window down and said, did you seriously just take that spot? And you knew I was trying to get that spot. My blinker was on and everything. Oh, I didn't know, I didn't know. I'm irritated at this point. And they're still continuing to just go about their day after they just took my spot. I got an attitude. I said a couple words, probably shouldn't have said it. But I was pissed off because I've been sitting right here for like 10 minutes trying to wait for a parking spot. So then finally, probably like five minutes later, somebody else comes out. I go into Ross. There's barely anything. I want certain decorations and I'm not going to just be getting whatever. So like there was some stuff, but it was just a lot of like gold and red and I don't want gold. Nothing in my house is gold. I don't want my decorations gold. I want red, white, and silver. That's what I want and I'm not going to settle. I got a few things, but I don't have any ornaments still. And I spent half of my budget. So I don't know if I did good or bad but i'm about to show y'all what i got for 50 dollars. got this pillow it says it's the most wonderful time of the year so i'm gonna put it on my couch i feel like this would be really cute bring a little bit of christmas spirit in the house that was like 14 dollars, so i feel like that's not bad that's like a good pillow i'd actually keep that for like every year that's a cute pillow i got a red bow i don't want to put a star on the top of my tree i want to put a bow this bow was $3.99 so i feel like that was a good price and then i got this stocking which was $4.99 it has a k and it was literally the last stocking with the letter on it so i was like oh it's meant to be literally and it matches like my whole little theme of what i got going on so at the top it's like this and then it has a K. It's plain, but cute. I got a tree skirt, which this was $9.99. And it has a little Santa Claus on it with some trees on the side. Red and white. It's real cute. 
I honestly kind of just wanted a plain red or plain white skirt, but I was like, you know what? This is kind of cute. I'm just going to get it. It was only $9. So I ended up getting this cup. I wasn't even supposed to get a cup, but I just felt like this would be super cute. And it came with a cookie cutter, a Christmas tree cookie cutter. So I was like, oh, that's cute that it comes with that. And it says joy to the world. I'm going to do a cute little night where I do like hot chocolate and like maybe bake some cookies or something. And I could just use this cookie cutter. So that was cute. And it was only $4.99. So I got a cup and a cookie cutter. So yeah, that's everything I got for $50, y'all. Do y'all think I did bad? Or do y'all think I did good? Everything's so expensive nowadays. I feel like I did good. I'm trying to bargain shop. I'm trying to bargain shop. I'm going to put my tree up and I'm going to put this little decorations that I got together and we're gonna see what we got but tomorrow i'm definitely gonna do more shopping tomorrow is sunday we'll try again tomorrow the fact that this video has 81 million views like bro it's the most beautiful time of the year Lights fill the streets spreading so much cheer I should be playing in the winter snow But I'ma be under the mistletoe I don't wanna miss out on the holiday But I can't stop staring at your face I should be playing in the winter snow But I'ma be under the mistletoe Let's talk about how I just swept And all of this stuff is all over my floor, y'all Nobody told me that when you get the tree with the snow on it Do that I thought it just stays on there But it doesn't It's everywhere so I gotta sweep that up again. <laughs> it's literally everywhere. <laughs> but let's continue decorating cause it's giving me Christmas spirit right now and I'm loving it. Oh my gosh. It's seven feet, it got snow and it came with lights. I could put up my, my stocking and I was going through this stuff and I found this picture from a Christmas party I had I don't remember what year this was it had to be like 2019 2020 maybe but me and Shay I had a Christmas party at my house it was fun I wanted to do another one this year but mm, it's not giving so many memories my 21st birthday that's crazy bahamas 2022 like a hell of my life found them now let's put this up i wasn't sure where i wanted to put my stocking but i just put it right here i think it's cute right there i don't know where else to put it i was gonna get one for my boyfriend and put a bee but they didn't have no bees so light on my tv but the battery is dead on this i'm gonna try to see if i can find this battery when i go to the store so i can change the light color so i don't ooh, i don't want it to be blue i want it to be red i'm gonna do the rest of my christmas decoration shopping tomorrow for sure we're still on the 50 dollars budget for the rest of the decorations i'm only spending a hundred dollars on decorations besides me buying the tree that's of course I just thought about something, y'all. Oh my God. I'm so mad. Wow. I just randomly remembered I bought Christmas wrap and I left it at Ross. I don't even have my receipt. Maybe I do have my receipt. Let me see. I found my receipt. I should just go right now. Damn. So I'm about to go back to Ross, the Ross I went to, and see what they say because I literally left my Christmas wrap. And then, um, 
I'll check back in with y'all and let y'all know what happens. And I got to tell y'all about how last night went at work. Because I did go to work last night. And I didn't even talk to y'all about it. I was just like over it. I was just like, this is not it. But I want my Christmas wrap that I paid for. So I'll be right back, y'all. All right, y'all. So I'm back at home. And I went to Ross. And I got my wrapping paper. Period. So it says, wishing you a Merry Christmas. When I got to Ross, I was like, I'm not about to stand in line. So I went up to the register. I was like, um, can I talk to your manager? Because I had bought something yesterday and I left it here and I have my receipt for it. They were like, okay, that's fine. So they called the manager. The manager came. The manager was like, okay, well, I'm going to have to look at the cameras. I said, okay. I bought it and I left it. Look at the cameras. I feel like she was saying it as if I was going to be like, oh, never mind. Because you have to look at the cameras. Like, okay, go look at the cameras. Because I bought it and I want my stuff. So... She went and looked at the cameras and she was looking at it. I was like, yeah, that's me right there. And then I had grabbed my pillow and I grabbed my bag and I left the wrapping paper. And so she was like, oh, okay, um, you can go grab it or whatever. And then she gave it to me and then I grabbed it and I left. So that's everything I got for $50, including the wrapping paper, y'all. But let me tell y'all about how last night went, okay? Let me just say you could tell it's about to be Christmas and New Year's and everybody trying to get their money, okay? The club has been kind of dry, so it's been like the money that is in there, everybody's on it, on it, on it, on it, on it. And honestly, I need to be more aggressive at this point because it's getting to the point where it's like these girls are being so aggressive. I want to have a good Christmas too, but I'm just like, damn. When I tell you a customer walk in the door, I literally be like, I'm gonna wait for him to get his drink and then I'm gonna go talk to him. Bro can't even get a drink just on it to every single person. Like, So I'm like, at this point, I'm gonna be on that tonight. I'm gonna see how it go for me. I'm gonna be on that, that type of timing tonight. Yesterday I was a little bit, so I had made some money only because towards the end I started getting more aggressive. I had a table come in that I knew. The dude that I know, we was low key like, I don't want to say arguing, but like he was like mad at me or whatever because I don't be messaging him back when he be in my DMs and stuff. So dude was like, oh, you want to be in my section, but you don't know how to DM me back, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, bro, we go way back, like way back to when I was working in the after hours. If y'all know what I'm talking about, when I first started dancing and I was working at the underground after hours type vibes. Like we go way back since then. So I'm like, bro, stop playing with me. Like I'm on this bag. I don't care what you talk about. Whole time, they didn't even barely throw anything, so I shouldn't even been pressed to be on the bag. But the other girls was, was so much more pressed to be on the bag. They were trying to get me off the bag the whole time. He's not about to kick me off this bag. So he DM'd me today on Instagram this morning, and he was like, you know, them females in there be hating on you. I couldn't even tell you last night because you had picked up your money and uh, started making money somewhere else. But I just wanted to tell you, like, them girls really be hating on you. I was like, what are you talking about? He was like, and he had told me, like, one of the girls was basically like, you want her, like, why do you want her in that section? Like, kick her out the section. Like, just have it be me and my partner. I'm like, who told you that? He like, I don't, I don't even want to, like, it ain't even that serious for you to try to go say something to the girl. It don't even matter. I'm like, it does matter, though. I don't have to say anything to her because sometimes you win by being quiet. So I'm like, I don't have to say anything to her. But I want to know so I know who's over here being weird. Okay, if this girl was over here trying to kick me off a bag, I need to know who she is so I could watch out for her. And he really was not trying to tell me. But I get where he coming from. Like, not trying to start no drama. He talk about some, I don't even know the girl's name. There's so many girls in there. I don't even know her name to even tell you. I said, well, what did she look like? I'm like, was she light-skinned? He like, all them girls in there is light-skinned. It ain't no brown-skinned girls in there. And I was like, no, for real. Because, like, it's really not a lot of brown-skinned or dark-skinned girls in my club. So... I'm like, you right about that one. But I'm like, what did she look like? He was like, I'll show you next time I come in there. I don't want to know next time. I want to know now. So part of me wants to go to work tonight and ask. It's three girls that was on that bag that could have possibly said it. Part of me wants to just go ask all three of them. But then I still start a fight probably. But then again, I feel like it won't. I should just let it be. But then I want to say something. That's my problem. I, I don't know how to just bite my tongue for people. I say how I feel. That's probably one of my biggest problems. It's just like, I want to know who I'm supposed to be watching out for. But you know what? At the end of the day, I need to watch out for everybody. So I'm going to leave it alone. And I'm going to just be on my P's and Q's with all of them. That's how last night went, y'all. People was being money hungry, roaching, trying to step on toes per usual. And it's getting worse because it's getting close to Christmas. That's the update last night. I made like $400 something dollars. Whack. That section, we all got like $50. You did... You tried to kick me off a bag that you got $50 out of. 
Do you feel good about yourself? How do you feel now? I'm going to work again tonight and I'm going to make a bag, period. So I'm going to see y'all. I'm going to eat real quick, take a little nap, and then see y'all once I'm getting ready to go to work. What's up, guys? So it is the next day. I ended up getting kind of lit last night at work and... My man came to get me. It was a whole little thing, y'all. Money. I did run my money already. I'm going to do a money count real quick with y'all. But also, I'm going to tell y'all how it went last night. So let's do the money count real quick, and then I'm going to tell y'all how it went. Okay, so this is what we made. In leftover ones, we got $35. And then we got 100 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we made 7.35 yesterday, which is like, thank God, because Friday and Saturday was so weak. How Sunday was better than Friday and Saturday. And I was in two sections, which one section, it was just it was just me and one of the girls that I'm cool with at my club. And then another section that I was in was six girls. And then I got like 3,000, I think, or something like that. Yeah, it was six of us. It wasn't even supposed to be six of us. It really was supposed to be like four but it ended up being six because there was no other money in the club and nobody was letting up off that section like all six girls that was right there was like we, i'm staying here and low-key i was like me too because all weekend y'all been acting like scavengers over every dollar in this mother so at this point i'm finna stand my ground and i'm finna be here too who finna tell me to leave i was talking to the customer taking shots with him that's when i ended up getting really drunk so yeah that's how sunday went y'all that's it for today's video, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you turn your post notifications on so you can be notified every time I post a video because who don't want to watch my videos? Everybody want to watch my videos, period. <laughs> no, just like, Yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you to everybody that is subscribed. And if you're not, why not? What could be the reason? What is the reason? I don't understand. All right, anyways, I'm, I'm going, y'all. Love you guys.